Hi and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be making a asphalt texturing blender and this will be completely procedural and we will make a beautiful render at the end. So the first thing we need to do is uh, just delete everything by pressing A and X to delete and then shift A to add in a plane and that's what we'll be using today. I do want to scale this up to match uh, kind of like um, to match the size of our road so uh, 2.5 something so uh, the road segments are about two and a half meters or maybe we can do just uh, uh, six by six and then just apply the transforms and this will be our road now what we can do is just go into rendered mode and set up a render engine to cycles and set this to gpu if you have one if not it's uh, perfectly fine you could also do this in ev it will work either way i'm going to add in a uh, sun lamp but you can also add in a hdri it's all perfectly fine. It's just a really simple way to view our material. So now that we've done that, I can just uh, select the plane and then go over to the shader editor and add in a new material and call this asphalt. What we can do now is just zoom in here and then we can set the color of the, um, of the asphalt, which will be something like 0.01. Uh, really dark texture but uh, still not black uh, because not everything is perfectly black the next thing we need to do is add in a bump texture and set this to the normal and then for the height we will use a Voronoi texture set to distance also set it to a smooth f1 to get a smoother uh, Voronoi texture and then just change the scaling until it's barely visible anymore something like uh, 250 if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled you can select the Voronoi texture and press ctrl t to add in a mapping and texture coordinate node and we can set the texture coordinate to object and this is pretty much what our asphalt is going to look like we can just use the Voronoi texture and plug this into a color ramp or a, a map range node whatever you like and then just set this to the roughness and make sure the blacks are uh, pretty white so it's really rough and that's about it for the asphalt texture now what we will do is just select everything here except for the material output and click ctrl g to group them together and what we can do now is just drag the skill into the group input and drag in the strength and the specular maybe and now if we press tab we can switch back and we have a node group which we will name our asphalt and i'm just going to rearrange everything so it's uh, logical and that is our asphalt texture what we can do now is add in a gradient texture and we can preview this by pressing ctrl shift and the left mouse button and as you can see we have our gradients right here uh, what we can do with the gradient is just add in a color ramp set this to constant and then just drag this white slider to something like uh, 0.05 and what we're doing right now is just adding in um, the stripes on the road and I found this is really just the uh, best way to do this there's no uh, easier way so we have our stripes on the side and that's actually pretty much everything we want from uh, this node group since uh, we are going to make the uh, center one uh, a different way so we can uh, duplicate this by pressing uh, shift D and just move it down and then we can delete all the uh, sliders on the color ramp then we want a slider on uh, the middle so 0.5 set this to white and we also want a black one of course make the same stripe uh, as we did with the other one but just in the middle so 0.475 and this will be 0.525 and if we preview this we see a big line in the middle maybe we don't even want it to be this big maybe just a uh, stripe this width so i'll leave this on my monthly support so you can download it there but the values are uh, uh, 0.875 and 0 0.5125 
and now we have the center stripe and to delete some some bits in the middle so to have the stripe line we can do something uh, uh, pretty special we can add in a wave texture and preview this move this to the y uh, and then set the scaling to something like uh, two or something and also with a color ramp node we set this to constant and then we can then we can choose some things we want deleted so maybe just a 0.5 to have uniform uh, sizes and then what we can do is just uh, everything that's white we delete from uh, our color ramp so here to do that we can add in a math node and then set this to subtract and then we have our stripe line which we can also just uh, manipulate with the wave texture so this is for um, European roads what we're making we can add in uh, this one to this one or uh, this one I mean these two so this is our second node group and what we can do now is just add in the math node again and add these two together and make sure to clamp this if we don't clamp this um, uh, our side textures will also be subtracted that's because uh, we are subtracting the white which is one from all the white here but also from the black so the blacks will be minus one but you don't actually see that so make sure to clamp it so uh, everything below zero is just uh, gone we still need to add this to the asphalt with a uh, mix shader so what we can do is just add in a new principled bsdf and then set the roughness to something very high uh, what you can do then is just duplicate this and click this little number to make it unique and then just change the color uh, to white set this to the shader and it will look the same you can also group this Control g uh, add some controls like the scaling and that's pretty much it and call this uh, stripe mask Something else we can add is some rain. So we want a Musgrave texture for that. And we can use this as a texture mask with the mix shader again. And just make a new uh, principled BSDF and this will be our water texture. So this will have no normal uh, since water just takes out the normal of any uh, object. And connect these like this, preview it and then just set this to uh, a completely white not rough and add in a math node to uh, multiply the puddles and if you now add in an hdri you can see that it's uh, uh wet the asphalt maybe add in some roughness and you can add in a uh, musgrave texture again for the bump to add in some variations to the water just a very tiny bit uh, not too much so set the scaling to like like 10 and the strength down to something like uh, 0 0.025 this already uh, maybe a little bit too much even so 0 0.01 you can also add an add uh, math node to something like 0.1 so the rest of the asphalt is a little bit wet but make sure to clamp the multiply so let's see how that looks and it, I think that looks a little bit better so the asphalt's a little bit wet but the rest of the puddles are completely soaked can maybe add in some dimension and some distortion some detail and I think this is perfect so this is our asphalt material uh so yeah i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something and i hope to see you in the next one goodbye